Yes. And on the stage, uh, right here on our floor, the press conferences. So I want to go down the line. Kevin, what did you like? Uh, you know, they asked us our favorites, and uh, I had so many, and thankfully you guys are going to chat about all of them. So I actually went with Bullet Storm for today because I was taken by surprise. I am a, I, I love a good, hardcore first-person shooter. I also love a game that, that doesn't take itself all that seriously yeah. and has a sense of yeah. humor. So to combine the two is a refreshing treat in this day and age of all that's be all so serious about the fact that we're shooting people in the face. So I, I enjoy it. I like the combos. I like the system. And graphically, the, it, it looks incredible. So Bulletstorm for me. Yeah, I definitely right. agree. Bulletstorm was, did have an incredible showing. I think it got a lot of people excited about it. I am going to pick Star Wars The Old Republic because... Yeah. What were the odds? What I know. were the odds? It's crazy, right? No one would have guessed it. <laughs> uh, I do love an MMO. They put a lot of thought into making... You know, the different character classes really fit in and feel like they belong in the Star Wars universe, whether you're a healer or a tank or anything like that. So that got me very excited. It's fully voiced. I can't even tell you guys how much that is going to change the MMO experience. So that's my choice. I mean, the fact is, I'm going to play it. That's oh, something if Adam plays an MMO. Well, what's yours, Adam? Uh, mine is, 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 is a quirky choice, but probably not surprising. Epic Mickey. Um, I've been very excited about this game. Uh, as someone who kind of grew up obsessed with animation and all that type of stuff, and I've known over the years, as I've known more Inspector, he has the same problem that I do, and uh. this clearly is a game that was made with some crazy person like me in mind. Right. Just... And you can tell War Inspector is really into yeah. this idea. And that while it might look like it's simplistic gameplay on the surface, all you got to do is just be with it for a little bit, and like the rich, deep character, all that kind of weird Deus Ex stuff. No, it's still there. And, yeah, there's it's so many different ways world. to play that game, too, which, which yeah. keeps it fresh and interesting. But what about you, Miss Mon? What did you see? Ah. Uh. Oh, it's so embarrassing because I can't remember the name, but it was the one where you uh, you knocked the Asian girl off your your TV show. No, no, that wasn't that wasn't a game. That you, was you uh, that was a promo that we did. You're like, no that Asian. Was a, that was a promo that we That's did. That's my favorite game. That's not a Wii game. That was my That's favorite game. game. I like that game for the PSP. You also you spent a lot of time with Twisted Metal. Did I you know Twisted that? Metal was really. I I, I I it's really exciting to finally see it come back around and the fact that with the PS3 they could do so many more things with it. Um, it's exciting to see that uh, that everyone got to play it and really loved it. I think we're seeing, you know, Jaffe's e e like experiment, which was a phenomenal game, Calling All Cars. Yes. I can see aspects of it in Twisted Metal, yes. which it was such a phenomenal arcade game to have it at, at this scope and at this size. I mean, it's going to be an absolute winner. Yeah, no, the game looks amazing, and of course it's Jaffe, so we all love that. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a shame we couldn't mention the 50,000 other games here that were yes. amazing, but that is it, folks. That yeah, is it more for today. Tomorrow.